Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can improve your privacy while using Windows 10. Windows 10 is the new Microsoft operating system. Uh, it's currently being offered to people free as an upgrade from Windows 8 or Windows 7. Um, it's really good. It's easier for people to use that are used to Windows 7 than it would be for them to use Windows 8. The people who are used to Windows 8 can get along with Windows 10. So, in general, it's a good operating system. With the exception that there are a lot of privacy concerns all over the internet. Especially if you make use of Cortana here, um, it can be quite worrying. So, I'm going to show you how you can turn off those abilities for Microsoft to suck in your data and thus keeping your privacy private. So if you click the start menu, go to settings and go to privacy, most of the things we'll be needing are in here. Now if you are really serious about privacy you should probably also disable Cortana. So if you have this little icon here or this bar with a microphone here, just click in there, click this icon here, go to settings, and turn off Cortana. You could probably leave that on, but I like to turn that off as well. So, now we just have it being Windows Search. There is no Cortana enabled. So now, we can configure these privacy options. This is to do with advertising and you don't really want apps tracking you around so you can tick that off smart screen this is up to you but if you're using apps it could give you some extra security because Microsoft will be screening things that the apps are using however if you want to rely on your own judgment for things you could turn this off send Microsoft info about how I write to help us improve typing and writing in the future. This is a keylogger, essentially, and is an extremely bad idea. Uh, Microsoft have been making operating systems and dealing with things for more years than people know. Uh, they don't need to get this kind of information from us, so turn that off immediately. Let websites provide locally relevant content by accessing my language list not a good idea because that could also be used for tracking potentially also you can turn off the advertising unique ID uh, functionality they've added by clicking this link which will open up a browser yeah we'll use edge for now which by the way I don't use edge because this is the built-in browser just like I don't use Internet Explorer and as you will probably see with these privacy issues the edge is deeply integrated with all of this information gathering I just don't like it it's creepy it may be better than Internet Explorer but I value my privacy thank you so if you hit sign in you'll need to log in with your live ID and then you should click on choose here now, you can turn off personalized ads for the browser that you're using, which is probably a good idea, but it's not all that important. The main one, personalized ads wherever I use my Microsoft account. This is not good. Turn that off. Now, if you turn this off, there will be a few apps that require this that will no longer work. However, if you really want to use those, you have to sacrifice some of your privacy and have adverts tracking you around and things. So, it's up to you, but you should really disable this. And once you've done that, it's done, period. So we can close that. So that's the general tab with some of the more crucial settings. If you go to location, um, here, this is the ability for apps and things to be able to gather your information from your location. Uh, you may want this, you may not want this, you can either change it for the entire device by clicking up here and turning it on or off, this is more of a global kind of setting 
if you don't want apps tracking your location, it's probably a good idea to just turn the entire thing off using this change button. However, if you want to leave it on, but just choose which apps can make use of that information, can actually get that information of your location, you can just toggle these on and off for which ones you want to have access to it. It's usually a good idea though to just turn the entire thing off for the whole device. Okay, so now everything is off and everything is, you can't even turn it on because it's been disabled for the entire device. So if we go to camera, it's a similar kind of thing, but we only have this way here to turn it off globally. Or, again, you could turn it on and off based on the app. I don't really want apps using my camera. Microphone, same thing. You could either select them there or just globally turn them off. Speech, inking, and typing. This is something that Cortana uses to be able to gather your information. If you're not using Cortana, you should absolutely tell this to stop getting to know me. If it is already, of course, don't tell it to start. So if we put stop getting to know me, this will turn it off. Yep, turn off. All right, so now Cortana, the entire Cortana system is not gathering any information about us. That's good. But if you see that it says get to know me, just ignore it, leave it the way it is. Account information. Do you really want apps to be able to get information about you, like your name and your picture and other account information? I don't think so. So let's get rid of that. Contacts. This is what apps are able to get a hold of your contact list, assuming, of course, that you've hooked up your accounts which if you're using a live account like Hotmail or Outlook and you've got that connected to your Windows you might want to turn off some apps ability to get your contact lists because if you get infected by a virus or something and one of those apps turns out to be nasty it might have access like you can see here everything is on so I'm just going to uh, make sure that that is not available on anything calendar. This, I would say, is less of an issue, but it could be very crucial, especially if you've got something on your calendar that says you're going to be away for two weeks. Uh, you don't really want someone getting access to that information because of a, a nasty app. So you can either turn this off globally or per application. So I'm just going to globally turn that off. Messaging. This is more for mobile devices but even if you're on a desktop you might as well just turn this off right, radios this is things such as Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and anything that's using a radio I don't like the idea of letting apps mess with radios so I'm just gonna turn that off other devices really you can come in here and toggle this on if you need it, but I would highly recommend you disable this. If you have a phone that you do connect or whatever, it should show up down here in this other devices area. And um, if you have any issues syncing things, you can always come in this area, the other devices, and tweak things. But I highly recommend you just leave this off by default. Uh, feedback and diagnostics. They're trying to get information from you, and that's good because they need information to be able to improve the operating system, which I will show you as a sideline how you can do that. But if you're done giving feedback and you don't want to give feedback anymore, then come up here, click this, and click Never. And diagnostic information here, this is to do with gathering deep information about your system so that when you give feedback it gives them all kinds of things so I highly recommend you put this to basic so if you've got that to never and you've got this to basic they're not really pulling anything and also you won't be able to give feedback so just put this on never and basic until you're ready to give feedback but since I'm just going to show you in a minute how to leave feedback I'm going to put this on always and full because that way I'll be able to go into the feedback system. 
background apps. This is more useful if you're on a laptop, so if there's things that you know for sure you're not interested in, you don't want them running in the background using battery power, then you can turn them off. So get Office, I don't want that. Microsoft Edge, I don't want that. Phone Companion, I'm not interested. People, I'm not interested. Photos, I'm not interested. The Store, I don't want the Store. And I don't have an Xbox and I'm not interested in Xbox. So I just turned off all those background apps. So now those settings, just as soon as I've checked them on and off, they're saved in the system. Now if you want to leave feedback for Microsoft, as I said, make sure you go into the feedback and diagnostics and put these on either automatic or full uh, full recommended and then when you're ready to leave feedback press the start menu and type feedback and then you'll see Windows feedback right here click that app and it will load up and now you have the ability to read other people's feedback you can sort it by most recent what's trending upvotes you can show things that you have given feedback on so you can see if anybody's upvoted anything you've said you could either show just suggestions just problems or both of them uh, and you can specifically leave feedback on many different things so if you have a problem with Cortana or you have a recommendation just click Cortana and add new feedback then tell it whether it's a suggestion or a problem type your details make sure you select any categories that are relevant to help them get the information in the right place and you'll be able to leave feedback once you've done with this you can go back into the settings which if you remember you click the start menu and hit settings go to privacy scroll down to feedback and diagnostics and when you've left your feedback and you're completely done with it turn this to basic and put this to never that will ensure that you keep your privacy intact okay so that is how you make Windows 10 a little bit more private uh, you do kind of lose functionality in terms of some apps requiring advertising uh, tracking and Cortana because obviously if you want to use Cortana you have to give it access to all of your data which is kind of creepy um, so if you found this video useful, please hit the like button and subscribe for more, and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.